the first would be the New Jersey Brewery, the best New Jersey brewery. And I got to say, we love that we had some interaction with some of the actual breweries. Actually, one of them, um, the Cape May Brewing Company, reached out and had us uh, swap out for the correct label because apparently the label we were using was wrong. So there was a lot more interaction with this one, and we really appreciated it. But, um, yeah, Jim, did you look at the winner? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. So, uh, not surprisingly for anyone that's in the New Jersey or PA area, Cape May kind of ran away with this one. Now, I will say they were also the primary ones who promoted the bracket, which thank you guys very much. But they make some damn delicious beers, and anyone I know who's from Jersey, it usually is their number one preferred uh, brewery to go to. Um, Have you follow- ever been there? Yeah, I've been there once. Um, for the yeah, life here. of me, I can't remember which beers I tried from there, but I remember leaving there going, hmm, I really like kind of everything I tried there. Um, admittedly, though, I'm not as... The PA Brewery, I knew a lot more. This one, I was a little more... Uh, I had to do some research to really fill in this bracket. Um, for the sake of time, I'll just say the top five that won... So, number two, Flying Fish, which actually is probably the more well-known brewery. I feel like they have a distribution that's a little further reaching than almost everything else on this list. So, not shocked to see them at number two. Uh, Number three, River Horse, was really close to Flying Fish. Um, Flying Fish just edged it out a little bit. And they're another one that I pretty much like everything I've tried from them. Uh, Kane Brewing Company. This is one of the ones I've never actually tried anything, but everyone I know from Jersey really seems to like their stuff, so seems to have shown through this bracket. And finally, number five, the Village Idiot Brewing Company. Now, Jim, I don't know. I mean, I know pretty much what you drink and how you drink. Uh, from those top five, how many of those have you actually tried? Um, I have definitely had Flying Fish... Uh, God damn it, why do I have it set up as like the actual bracket and not just listed? Oh, you can just go out, you can go over to results at the top right now. Oh, yeah. There we go. God I'm damn a it, professional. Jim. I'm a professional broadcaster, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, now, I've had, a, I've had a little bit of River Horse. Kane, I don't think I've ever had anything from. I've had maybe one or two from Village Idiot. So there's a lot of ones here that I have had before. Um, number seven, Triumph. Is that the one that has uh, the place up in New Hope, too? Yeah. And they had used it. to have one down in Center City. They had one down in Center City and failed. Uh, that was a brewery that never yes, really it impressed did. me at all. Uh, I, I'll be honest. Generally don't want to talk too much shit about breweries because we know it's hard work, but, man, I just wasn't blown away. I don't know if it was just that night when we went to the one in Philly that did close down. But, yeah, just... Uh, Never did much for me. It, yeah, it was. It's not like the beers were bad or anything, but they weren't special. Yeah, I've been to the one in New Hope too, and like I'll say, probably the food's better than the beer. Not saying the beer is bad, but the food, I was like, oh, it's pretty good. And the beer, I was like, oh, this is nine PA. Yeah, one I was glad to see so high on the list is Forgotten Boardwalk. They make the uh, funnel cake beer, which is goddamn delicious Ooh. i mean just the name that name alone and for some reason if anybody out there doesn't know what funnel cake is you poor bastard go out go to any circus go to any carnival or go to a boardwalk and you can probably find it but the beer manages to taste like that without all the extra well, the fryer shit what, what what's the word i'm looking for not grease um you know what I'm saying. The, sh- the actual fryer taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, yeah, Fuck, without like the oil, basically. Yeah, taste. yeah. Like, no oily flavor. It actually just has a lot of vanilla, a bit, a good amount of cream. So, that is probably the most standout, well known beer from that brewery. Um, huh, now, going to the bottom five. I'll be honest, I don't truly know any of these breweries. But coming in at 28, we have the Rin Duin Brewing. Uh, 29, the Harvest Moon Brewery. 30, High Point Brewing Company, 31, the Long Valley Pub and Brewery, and 32, the Cold Spring Brewery. Yeah, I before making this list, uh, 
didn't hear of any of them. And with Jersey, it was a little, t a little more interesting because I think they only have 88 breweries. So getting the 32 was, you know, you probably hit all the top ones within the top 20 of this list. Sounds about right. Yeah. And Apparently my mic's just... cutting out. Oh, what, on Twitch? On Twitch, yeah. That's fine. As long as I can sync it up, we'll be okay. But from those top five, or bottom five, I should say, had you heard of any of them before this, Jim? I can't really say I have. <laughs> I mean, I was looking at these and I was just like, um, yeah, I'm probably not voting for this. Yeah, you're not hating on it. You're just, you don't know it. I, I just don't know it, yeah. I mean, there's so many freaking breweries in New Jersey that... I mean, clearly... What am I going to Jersey? Come on now. Clearly, Good breweries in a shitty state. Let's be honest here. With our superstar status on Twitter, I mean, obviously we're going right. to knock these guys up in popularity, and they can thank us by sending us some beer. So, you're welcome. Well, I mean... <laughs> Jim, get promoted. We have a beefy 10,000 followers. <laughs> I'll start whoring. i got to whore more. <laughs> so, uh, once again, what we will probably get back to, just like we did with the PA beers, now with the top brewers that made it on this list, we'll go back, uh, do the top beer from those breweries, and kind of figure out what's the best beer from Jersey. Um, and then we'll, you know... We'll move on to other states. So if you are a fan of us and you're wondering when we're going to get to you, we will, just in time. Anything else before we move on, Jim? Nah, not too much I can really add in on this one. I mean, I knew some of the beers here, but obviously not anything compared to what's convenient for me to get to. So a lot of them look like they're solid. 